Bournemouth tea. You know, this is what you have. Your standard stuff. You don't deserve to have stuff. I know, I don't. I deserve that rich man stuff, though, I hear. Thank you. I like to go to the Chinese and get a Chinese chicken curry, egg fried rice, and chicken. Oh, chicken. Chinese chicken curry, egg fried rice, and chips with a nice glass of Coke. I'm on oh, And shoot. you've just officially dropped your bolt on the floor. Um, I just deleted Wait. of my spaceship. I remember, I just remember what I have for lunch now. What well, is really nice. Uh, you just, you only- BBQ. BBQ pot noodles. I oh. hate pot noodles, they're really bad for you. I love them. Pot noodles so are so bad for you, it's not even funny. Nothing's funny. E, not even you. You are, no do you know the origin of pot noodles, Sean? I'll explain it. I don't really care. Hey, as long why as it are good. you the only person on my fucking Xbox friends list that cares about the fucking how much shit is in what pot noodle? No, I'm sorry, but like pot noodles are just too unhealthy for me. Like, I'm sorry. there's a limit. Like, I, it's just this is just me. Like, I'm 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 fine with everyone else eating them, but like in terms of like super unhealthy foods, I just won't have it. I'm sorry, but noodles. I'm pretty sure they're healthy. No, pot noodles aren't you. F oh, you know what? You know what? I'm You're sorry. twisting my words. You're twisting my words. I'm sorry, I didn't say pot noodles. I said noodles on their own. No, I've talked about Sean saying that he likes pot noodles. And I'm like, nah, I'm sorry, I don't like pot noodles. They're too unhealthy. Okay. Sean said he remembered what he had for lunch. Yeah, I know. Barbecue pot noodles, and I said, nah, I don't like pot noodles. Yeah, it's I know. Way too I know. Yeah, you're, yeah, you're twisting my words. I didn't say noodles weren't unhealthy because some noodles are actually healthy. Yeah. Yeah, but I'm saying pot noodles are extremely unhealthy. I'll explain the origin of pot noodle. It's when just after World War Two, Japan they'd be starving, so this guy comes in, he's like, "I right, found gonna make the pot noodle, <laughs> save all the starving people," and it's literally just made out of the cheapest crap. Yeah. The origin was probably made of the cheapest crap. But the cheapest shit doesn't give you good flavour. That's not good flavour. It's got the good shit. As long as my tummy says yes. <laughs> same. Sure, I mean you're in the same boat well, as long as I'm our tummy says yes. I just, I don't even like pot noodles in general. I just don't know why I don't like them. My tummy kind of like rejects them. I'm sorry, my favourite one would have to be the chicken and mushroom. I had a, I had um, I guess the green one. Can't remember what flavour that is. Yeah, that, 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 that's the chicken and mushroom. And I like chicken. And like, I ate it at my friend's house and they were like, Oh, my god, so good. And I was like, And <laughs> pretty much speeding my guts out. You said, so, you, yeah. you said you don't want people eating it and you just admitted you are spinning your guts out because your friend was eating it. Okay. No, because I was it was the first time I tried it. Stop twisting my words, man. Nah, fam. Mm -hmm. I said we're all at my friend's house and we're all eating pot noodles, the green one, and I had and everyone else was had, enjoying it, and I had it, and then I like just about speed. See you twisting my words again. How do you not like pot noodles? I just don't. Sean, there's something wrong with him. There's something wrong with you. <laughs> what? So, so you're saying basically to the whole world that <laughs> pot noodles are <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. You're making Sean cry. Nah, you're the one who's making him cry. <laughs> I don't really give a damn. Anyway, noodles. for my dessert, I haven't had a chance to fucking say this yet. My dessert, I like to have some chocolate fudge cake. Oh, not bad. bad. Not bad. That's actually pretty good. No, no, I respect you for that. What about that cheesecake? Do you like cheesecake? Oh, fuck, your, cheesecake. fuck your cheesecake. What the fudge is wrong with you? I love cheesecake. I love cheesecake. I'm gonna be honest, I've, ne I've never tried it. <sighs> Sean, tie him up. We're, we're giving him cheesecake. Right, let's do it. Come on. Let's, I had let's coffee sort it out. cake, but not cheesecake. I don't like carrot cake. I said, I said coffee. No, but I'm saying I don't like carrot cake. I've never <laughs> had coffee cake before. <laughs> what? <gasps> Should they become a syndrome? Stop! Literally deep throwing your mic, please. Sean. 
going to stop passing. No, bitch. That's <laughs> what you two get up to in your spare time. You never had it, but your ass has just gone really squared after sitting on a chair for so long. I don't know. Well, is your ass really that malleable? <laughs> Moldable? Now the next question. Is it like a bit of clay? Uh, yeah, it is actually, and Sean actually ran out of questions, so I was going to carry on talking with a bunch of idiots. Oh, you should ask us about like Machinima and like video games and all. Yeah. Wow! What a podcast, mate! What, what, why don't yeah. you talk about your you two, yours, pushing about Halo 2, whilst I listen? Oh, oh yeah, we can actually talk about oh, that. Oh, no, this is Sean's excuse to go F off and do something. Else. Actually, I'm in the game with Demon and Hobbit Freak, just chilling. <laughs> oh, I don't like Hobbit Freak and Andrew. No, no, right. he's... Well, he's, he's yeah, okay, he but he yeah. can get annoying. He can yeah, he can be a yeah. Do you remember when he was a... Uh, do you remember when we were all playing Michael Myers and he was hitting on Ellie hardcore and us? It's like, oh, oh my god. god. Oh my god, I remember when Hobby the Freak said something Sean to your sister and then she went to your parents. Wait, what? I don't know about this. Let's hear this. Okay, so basically, <laughs> Hobby the Freak, yeah, whenever he sees a girl on Lion, he would send them a message saying, oh, hey, sexy, you want to mess with me? Something along them lines. And Sean, his sister being on the account, nah, Hobbit Free did it to her. Oh, my yeah. God. Hobbit Free, yeah, you see, he's a bit of a freak. And my then, sister's, my sister was 12 at the time. How old is Hobbit Free? Like, 17, 17. and he said that to a 12-year-old. Oh, my God. My sister's 13 now. When he, oh, my when God. When he did that, I was just like, nah. Why? Fam, you don't. You don't do this. You don't Come do them. On. You don't do them things. I mean, like Owen's a proper pedo, and he still doesn't do that. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, to be fair, that nah, if it was Owen and my sister, it's not too bad. What? Oh, nah, 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 nah. <laughs> what? It's two years <laughs> different. Oh, in terms of difference, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm 15 actually. She's for, uh, mm -hmm, yeah. And my, nah. my, but, my but it's Owen. Three years but it's ago. in terms of age, yeah. But it's Owen. It's, it's, it's he's literally Listen, yeah, this year. As anyway. long as me and Sean get to see each other every day and eat pot noodles, was we're, we're cool with that. I feel like if I had to see you every day, or and eventually I'd just be like, nah, I can't handle this. I'm moving back to Asia. <laughs> Fucking Adam, no, like every minute of the day I'm just there looking at you. We're just eating pot noodles. Like, you can just like, get, that, get that horrible fat stuff away from me. I fucking just noodles, by the way. out a flask out of nowhere. Support, so, um, a flask out of nowhere given to me by Mark and Keith. We thought you fill up the pot oh, noodle again. Mark, you're going to talk about your Halo 10 anniversary, uh, Machinima, what? I'm, I'm flicking my butterfly comb waiting for Owen. Why should I stop the fucking description of the, uh, the story? Um, well, I'll just explain the story then. Yeah. Alright, so, um, the story itself is based off of uh, one of myself and Owen's all-time favourite games, Supreme Commander 2. We actually recorded ourselves playing it today, or, earlier today, uh, which was pretty fun. Pretty long game. How long was it one? Like an hour and eight minutes? Yeah. Yeah. So, um, but we, we've modified it a bit. And obviously in the Halo 2 anniversary, you're quite limited in terms of armor. So we only have three different human armors and three different elite armors. But we're still doing it. Um, so the Machinima is essentially the UEF, the United Earth Forces, uh, are at war with the Illuminates, who are an alien race. It's kind of like Human v Covenant, only the literally the UEF are on the verge of losing this planet. Um, there's they only have one city left, and then uh, and then after the city, it's their stronghold uh, in the canyon. Um, uh, and what the the whole essential plot is that they lose the city, have to fall back to the canyon, and then they find out what's uh, how the Illuminate are bringing in all their forces. Um, it's this thing called a space temple, which is actually a real thing from Supreme Commander. Uh, so my character, who leads a recon team, is tasked with uh, sneaking in and destroying it. Uh, but it's like a really long journey. It takes like, multiple days to get there. And uh, the recon team's explosives expert is being murdered or killed in action. So Owen's character, uh, who is a sergeant and a demolitions expert in the main military force, uh, has been assigned to my team. And it, we're kind of going to make an action adventure with slight comedy because there'll be, there'll be one point because obviously you have the silenced SMGs. 
So at one point, Owen's going to see the silence test and energy. He's going to be like, what the fuck is that? And I'm like, it's an SMG, so you can kill people silently without making noise. And Owen's going to be like, that's a stupid idea. Why the hell do you want to do that? It's all the fun. Um, so you can kind of get the gist. And um, I'm not going to go in too in depth, but we do have multiple. If the first episode is quite successful, I would have multiple. Trilogy. trilogy, even. If the first trilogy is quite successful, we do have others planned for Halo 3 Anniversary, Halo Reach Anniversary, and Halo 4 Anniversary. Should that become a thing? Yes. Yes. But, uh, yeah. In terms of the actual, like, Machinima, our jobs, uh, Owen's going to be recording, and we're both going to be scripting, and I'm going to be the head forge builder. And, Sean, you've already seen some of the stuff, like, you saw the canyon. Yeah. What, what's the machinima called? Oh, we haven't named it yet. <laughs> Need to it's, name it. It's still in like planning stage. <laughs> it's it, it's it, it's still in the planning stage. Yeah. We already know how it's gonna open. How it's gonna open up with like. Uh, it's gonna open up with literally a fight going on straight away. Um, and then after that, this is kind of like. It's already happened. It's like a backstory. It's a flashback. Not flash, it's not a flashback. It's more like... Do, 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 do. It's not a flashback. It, it's, it's an explanation like, as, like, how the war began. It's more... Yeah, it's like... You have, like, Mon Aiden's voice, like, talking uh, as if... Yeah, like, it's like a monologue. Yeah, talk, talking as the story's going on. Talking in a third person. So mm -hmm. it's like... As something's going on... It's like it's like we're being interviewed and, and like, we're explaining... <laughs> Only there'll be a point when Owen does it isn't there, and I'm not gonna say why. It's like fucking Titanic. The woman's like going through her whole life story. Basically. <laughs> Hold me, Jack! Don't drop me! You really funny. I don't think you know it. I don't think you know it, but uh, me and Sean actually had a beautiful Titanic moment one time. It was beautiful. <laughs> Really funny. Uh, you may not remember it, Sean, you were very drunk. Don't be really funny if like, when she said, yeah, don't drop me, Jack, he goes, okay, then just, kick, just kicks her off. Sparring kicks her off? <laughs> you said don't drop her, you know, it's anything about Sparring kicking you off. <laughs> fucking no. Lee, no, fucking Leonidas just comes out of nowhere, fucking kicks her off and, like, shrinks into the ground. Like, eh? Speaking of Leo, The Revenant, I saw that recently, rented it. It's a damn good movie. I'll tell you what. It really, really is very, very brutal, though. Mm. You guys seen The Revenant? I don't think you two have. No, I'm more concerned about my ass being squared. <laughs> sure. It's better than it being round. I'd rather be round and bouncy <laughs> than square and buff. <laughs> well, so, like, buffer than probably anything else in your body. Yeah, man. Oh, I got them butt muscles on point. You can do weights with them. <laughs> just lift my ass. Just lift like a hundred kg on my ass. Like, yeah. That's, yeah. <laughs> That's like almost as much as you weigh. So. I, I'm basically lifting door. You wasn't supposed to say that. <laughs> you wasn't. You wasn't supposed to tell. You wasn't. Cut that out. Wasn't supposed to tell the world that I weigh hundred and ten kg at the age of fifteen. <laughs> well, you got that one out. No, I can't. Stood there, can't be able to edit. <laughs> <laughs> don't do that, no. What the hate comments below? <laughs> yeah, man. I don't cut like no bad parts of videos. I was, if pe people hate, they can hate because I all know that they're secretly a bunch of wankers. If they want to love me, well, well, they I can... just want to say that if your social life gets ruined because of what I said, I take no responsibility. Uh, I will be brought this I recall because you wanted me here. Literally, if people love me, I love them. They hate me. They're a wanker. That's how I work. Nobody hates me. You're a wanker. I hate you. <laughs> You're a twat. <laughs> you guys are just jealous. The moment he says yeah, nobody hates me. You're a wanker. You're a twat. Well, on Xbox, in, in real life, no one really hates me. In Xbox, it's a bit of a different story. Fucking, he rolls up to Nando's. Ah, there, Aiden Ritchie. Safe, G. Thanks for just giving away my full name on to like the bloody G. Um, thanks for giving out my full name to the world. I, I really appreciate I that. I can't say my last name. 